Ixio I is a brand new range for 2018. We've seen Ixios before as low profiles, but the I stands for integrated A-class, as we call them in England. Starting at three and a half tonnes, but if you have this 736 model on a three and a half tonne chassis, only has 315 kilos of payload. So sensibly, this one's been upgraded to the 3850 chassis. It's been upgraded in quite a few other ways too, things like the alloy wheels, the awning, and this rather fetching silver metallic paint finish. So let's see what you get with an Ixio i736. manufacturers have come up with this service box idea now and Burstner are one of them. Now you've got your mains hook up point with the lead coming out through the bottom of the door, you've got your fresh water tank with a cleaning servicing hatch there and you've also got your winter drain for the boiler. Now one neat little thing as well as this handle which releases the wastewater emptying valve, put that over the fresh water filler when you're filling and then you don't get any spillage inside the van, any overflow will flow out again. So you get a garage in this, uh, in this particular layout and it's one with a trick. Standard headroom in the garage area is about 0.87 of a metre, but you've got a winding handle and wind and wind and after a while this bed goes up to give you garage headroom of about 1.17 metres. So then it is a proper garage. Although inside the bed is now rather high, so you probably will want to bring your bikes out of the garage when you arrive on site and lower that bed back down again. You need an external step and an internal step when uh, walking into this motorhome, but you come in through an extra wide door into a very open living area. Now, that's partly because of this full width A-class cab, partly because of this layout with the side settee lounge. It all feels very open and the use of white on a lot of the furniture helps with that feeling of space. Uh, when it comes to dining, this table expands quite neatly so you've got a very large tabletop but when it's folded back it's not too intrusive. Now if you're thinking that with the island bed at the back and this drop down bed over the cab you've got four berths but where's everybody going to travel? Well this Ixio does have an answer to that. Each of these settees converts to an individual travel seat. First stage is to recover the frame and backrest, one of each of those for each side from the garage. Then you get rid of the cushions that you don't need anymore. That one, little one, and that one. And then that panel goes up, that one goes down, slot that into position, a couple of little wheels, you twist just to secure that tightly in place. Backrest cushion tucks up under the headrest and there you go, one travel seat with plenty of legroom. And on this side, you've got a sliding window so you can have that open while you're traveling. The other side, you can do the same system, changing it into a travel seat, but you have a top hinge window on that side so you can't open that while you're going along. The L-shaped kitchen area is reversed from the perhaps more traditional format, so it faces the living area and helps with this more open feeling at the front of the vehicle. That said, there's not a vast amount of worktop space once you've lifted the lid on the uh, cooker and taken away the infill on the sink. There is an oven and grill, albeit a small one, and plenty of drawer-based storage down low. The only other neat little uh, accessory is this compartment for your coffee machine, although it is rather high up. At the back of this layout you've got the usual ensuite bedroom arrangement and in this toilet area there's plenty of space and a good sized basin. The door does the usual trick of swinging around and closing 
the back end of the vehicle off from the front. And then on the other side, you've got this shower cubicle, decent size, although there is a step in the shower tray and you have got this useful clothes drying rail as well. And then if someone from the front half of the vehicle using the drop down bed in the cab wants to use the bathroom facilities, well, they can have privacy too. And then the bed area is typical of an island bed arrangement. Radius ends to the bed to give you a bit of access around, steps up into the bed, wardrobes on either side. But the neat feature is this. You can tip up the end of the bed and then you've got more room around the foot of the bed for getting undressed or getting dressed in the morning. And you can sit here comfortably with your breakfast in bed or reading the morning papers. Oh, good start to the day. So that's the Bursner Ixio i736, the latest addition in what it must be said is a very crowded sector for seven and a half metre island bed motorhomes. This one starts at 69,995, but as you see it here, it's well over 80 grand. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for lots more great motorhome reviews. And why not subscribe?